websites, email marketing, and social media all weave together to form a beautiful synergy of courses. She teaches WordPress at Myra Costa near Costa Community College and started the Carlsbad Word, WordPress meetup. When she's not playing with her bad kids, you can find her at amyhall.biz, which she runs with her business partner and husband, Terry. Please give it up to Amy, for Amy Hall.
Oh, and one other thing that I need to distinguish. Newsletters and emails for me have a tendency to be exactly the same. We're not talking like if you're um, emailing from your Gmail. That's completely different. And I use the same word, I'm sorry. All right, so lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of integrations with MailChimp. There's social media integrations. There's Google Analytics integrations. You can integrate Eventbrite. There's a ton of CRMs that you can integrate. Um, I'm doing an integration with uh, File Mac Maker Pro. Yeah. Um, FreshBooks. You can integrate your FreshBooks. You can integrate Paycom. You can integrate Zendesk. You can integrate e-commerce with WooCommerce and Shopify. And that's just like scratching the, the surface. So here's how you create synergy. And another thing, please ask questions during the presentation. I want all questions to stay in context, and if we leave them to the end, we'll lose the context of the question. Okay. So for MailChimp forms. You should always have a subscription form on your website. Always, 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 always have a subscription form on your website. Even if you're only emailing quarterly, have a subscription form on your website. Um, and your subscription form should be prominent, not in your footer. I just helped one lady and her developer put her form in her footer. <laughs> when are when do people scroll down to your footer? They don't. She's not going to get any subscriptions. It's just counting on them. So now I got to put all the forms in her slide. She already just paid for it. Anyway. Sorry, rant. <laughs> so for expert level forms, MailChimp for WordPress. In MailChimp for WordPress, you can use CS Styling with that, and there is a premium. Um, you can pay for the premium plugin, and then you can do drag and drop styling. So intermediate forms, easy forms for MailChimp. Again, you're going to use CSS for the styling. So this is my favorite form. It's super easy, and it's always beautiful. I like pretty forms, but not too pretty. And so I want them to be pop. I want them to look different 